So, what's up guys? Now, uh, I don't have much planned, so we're probably just gonna wing it. I, uh, I'm thinking we're probably gonna play some Assassin's Creed Odyssey today because I've been feeling like playing some of that. So, uh, I'm gonna look through my Steam library, probably look up a few demos, and then, uh, we're gonna see if I find anything else that might be appealing. But, other than that, we're just going to be looking around, and then if I don't find anything, we're going to try and play some Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So, let's see. Let's see what I have. Cool. So, <laughs> here's Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I saw it in my library and I was like, you know, I should play this. I should definitely play it. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. So, there were some games that I didn't look at, like, in depth. So, uh, I decided to go to the store pages and I was going to see what kind of stuff we could find. What is Ballistic Attack? It just sends me to Library Home. What? What in the world is going on? What is Craftopia? <laughs> That's in my queue? Okay. Oh. My. God. Alright, Batlo, what is this? It's in my library as well. All reviews, but recent reviews are very positive. I mean, you know, it could could be pretty good. Who knows? Uh, it is free to play though. So, now oh, you know what? Never mind. It looks like trash. It's like a a free version of like Roblox or something. What the? Okay. Uh, what is beep? Oh, it looks like a platformer. Oh God. I see way too many of those these days. Yeah, resident sleeper. I know what these are. Black Wake, you know, I bought it one day and I never freaking played it. I have not played this yet. It's got mostly positive reviews and very positive all reviews, so. Maybe they've been adding to the game since a long time ago. I wonder if it's better than Sea of Thieves. Let's look at the reviews. Not many active servers, excellent pirate game, fun with the microphone and a decent captain than typical seaman work. Okay. Well, we have uh, about 17,000 more reviews to read. Let's see if we can find like some of the critical reviews. What are the critical reviews looking like? Don't buy this game, believing it's a finished pro product. 0.04 release was nothing more than a patch to an early release, already released update. Huh. No, no, no. Alright, what about another critical one? Let's see. Uh, oh, that's the same one. Why is it showing it twice? What the crap? Played this game a decent bit in EA and loved it. Honestly, I'm not sure what happened since then. <laughs> but the fun of the game just nosedived. Okay, alright. I guess, uh,. Uh, I won't worry about playing it. It doesn't look like it's kept up lately. So let's go back to the library. Let's see what we can find. Borderlands 2, of course. Borderlands, you know. What is Brian? This only has nine reviews? What? What? 
Oh. <laughs> okay. They're all trash. All trash reviews. Let's see. Stranded at an island, the vessel is broked. <laughs> the vessel is broked. <laughs> Do whatever it takes to survive. All right, next. Collider. That looks like just some kind of 2D type deal. Company of Heroes. Creatures, Inc. When was this released? March 22nd, 2019. How much is it? 10 bucks. Uh, mixed reviews. Oh boy. Maybe I should just like create my own game. That's may maybe I should. Let's see. Maybe I should like advertise it as the worst game ever so no one expects anything out of it. Once the dev stated he was helping with the invasion 2037 by the trailer, it looks like a clone of the game. Oh god. A little bit of copycats. I see. Crystals of time. What is this? More mixed reviews. I mean... What in the world, dude? All right, well, it doesn't look like much. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe it could be one of those good retro looking games. Who knows? Uh, Darwin Project. DCS World. Uh, Boss is Das. Very positive. Oh, it's free. All right. I mean, you know, maybe we'll be interested in a free game. What is it? Is it like Flight Simulator? But oh, so it's a, like a an air combat simulator. multiplayer I mean I don't even have a joystick or anything I feel like I would enjoy the game if I had like a full cockpit setup like people do on flight simulator but eh, I don't know uh, Devolver Land Expo you know I still never finished that but I mean it looked pretty cool except for the fact that I couldn't uh, couldn't change the sensitivity <laughs> Uh, Dishonored, amazing game, you know, I already played it though. Doom, never finished. I wonder if that's the reason why Matt doesn't talk to me anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I think this is the part where we started, like, looking in depth. So, let's see. Ancestors. You know, I think I saw a little bit of this one the other day, and it actually looks like oh crap, that's loud. My god. All right, hang on a second. Let me mute my music over here. Or at least pause it. Let's look for, through a, uh, a few cues. Hang on a second. Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. All right, let me see. Um, unreleased. Let me access. Like, is there any way for me to, like, permanently change... My discovery queue, like, is that it? Like, let's see. 
All right, let's go to this, and then before we start it, let's see if there's anything. Uh... Mm. Common tags for what? It's just like marking those all as common tags for ignore like I like the game mode like just because I I mark one as not interested doesn't necessarily mean that I you know okay that's close maybe I should pull this off stream real quick just to make sure all right let's see product types Include the following types of products in my store. Okay, store's cool. Uh, okay. Example product. Let's see. <laughs> Oh my god I just don't understand, dude. What if I just want to include certain tags in my queue, dude? Like, come on, man. All right, let's see. Back to the store. Discovery queue. All right, let's see what kind of stuff they have. All right, we, we already saw that one. It's got mostly positive reviews. Inquisition has mixed reviews? What? The game was amazing. People be critics, man. Give me a break. None shall be untouched. I must echo another reviewer who said, Bought a game, started it, got error, something, something, license key, tried Steam support, got told to talk to EA support, which told me to talk to Steam support, refunded. Faith lies in <laughs> Well, I never had any of those issues. Well, actually, I, I think that's because back when I played it, I had the CD version. That's probably what it was. I bought the CD version and I played it in a disc. Yeah, 24. Yeah, that seems around the time that I used to play games on discs still. Well, I mean, mate, it was a great game. Like. I guess you can review it on com incompatibility issues, but you know. Oh, God. I mean, I guess I should finish reading the review, but I'm going to have to do it in the Cockney accent. Like. I feel like that's my only choice. Every time like I read a critical review, I have to read it in a Cockney accent because I assume that people are complaining about things that aren't necessarily, you know, worth complaining about. But I mean, who knows? Maybe they were actually given, you know, tons of trouble and they feel a little bit demoralized because of that. Who knows? Uh, except that for me, Origin only started prompting me for a product code after I had already logged about 70 hours for some reason. Which made me unable to get it refunded under Steam's refund policy. Now I have a game in my library that I paid for that I 
just can't play, so that's a drag. Bro, you you played it for 70 hours. Like, are you saying that the 70 hours of gameplay that you got weren't worth it before you were suddenly locked out of the game? Like, oh, surely you beat the game by then, right? It didn't take you 70 hours to not beat the game, right? Like, come on, bro. So I guess, you know. The game itself is alright, though. A little repetitive and grindy, but the combat and crafting system are engaging. And the characters' interactions are interesting enough. Never bothered using mounts because they aren't even that fast, and traveling on foot always allows, or on foot allows you to find stuff. In any case, on principle, I have to give it a thumbs down because this Steam origin system screwed me over. It's a real shame. Dang. All right, this dude didn't even get a lot of time on it. He 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 refunded it. All right. I do not feel comfortable with EA's insistence that every file on my computer needed to be scanned by there's not spyware in order to play the game I wanted to play. I wanted to play this game, but don't ever think I will touch it now. Yeah, you don't ever think you will touch it, but I guess you posted the review before you refunded it, but you're never going to touch it again because you refunded it. I mean, yeah, you never know. Maybe he can buy it again. <laughs> Not even at 70% off? Bro! <laughs> Just don't. It's a good game, fun combat, and the works really enjoy the story but the hands off from EA means they can keep their hands off my money good game fun combat and the works <laughs> but he's giving it a bad review <laughs> because the company that dev'd it what <laughs> bro if the game's good the game's good like it's a review on the game not the company are you kidding me? Dang. Heck, dude. Yo, these are kind of amusing to read, though. If I just scroll down and just read the not recommended, But I mean, I guess it would make it all the better if I just read it in the Cockney accent all the time. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I didn't realize you could comment on the reviews like that. But that's funny. Yeah, let's see. Included with EA Play. Cool, cool. So you could subscribe to that on Steam. Makes a lot of sense. Uh. Incorporates third-party DRM, EA Online activation, and origin client software installation, and background use required. Yep. So they were right. Yeah. It, it literally states it right there. Peeps be reviewing stuff badly about things that they were warned about before they bought it. <laughs> like, okay. All right, dude. I see. All right, let's see here. Mm-hmm. 
see I guess next game view your queue Dragon Age Inquisition it's got mixed reviews because people don't read warnings before they buy games all right next <coughs> I'm dying uh, demo I feel like I've heard of this before it was released recently maybe I saw a streamer playing it what is it about Maybe, I think it was Lyric, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't use this to generate other recommendations. Bam. There we go. Daisy Livonia? What? What is this? It's time for players to once again get lost in the post-apocalyptic world. I have Daisy. Welcome to a country reclaimed by nature. Welcome to Livonia. a country reclaimed by nature. State, or more precisely, the southern Maybe I should pause my music. Region, comprises lush so loud. landscapes, dense forests, overgrown fields, winding rivers, serene lakes dilapidated structures and various remnants of an abandoned society and at 163 square kilometers oh they should stumble upon each other more frequently than in the past but this new topography won't be the only change of pace for players the temperate late summer climate of Livonia brings frequent rainfall and severe thunderstorms oh protective gear and shelter okay to shield you from this relentless weather Although idyllic, Livonia's terrain is sparse, and convenient sources of food are hard to come by. Survivors will have to <sighs> hunt and fish in this desolate Baltic wilderness to keep their hunger at bay. Of course, with this new wilderness Let comes new my, wildlife, uh, and you won't be the only threat. Games and demos. Meet the Eurasian brown bear. This formidable foe can seriously injure and Games kill Games plus demos. Watch out. Where's the freaking good we guy, dude? I typed it in like your hand at survival in this post character by character, terrain. and it still brought up like a so bunch of things by. that started with demos. Taking the views, find your bearings, live off the land, and try your best not to die. See you in Livonia. Yo, what's up, Rambo? How's it going, dude? Let's see. I mean, you know, I feel like Daisy is good enough. I don't really want to pay fourteen dollars to to get a new map that I'm probably not gonna play. This should be free, yeah. I mean, I agree. It's a new map for a game that I've played. Yo, I'm fantastic, dude. Just got off work, chilling, looking around for games. Yeah, I'm sitting here like just looking through discovery queue stuff but uh i was thinking about hopping on like assassin's creed odyssey later on i still haven't even beaten that game <laughs> all right you know we'll skip over that for now maybe i should uh ignore yeah paradise killer truth wait story rich Investigation, open world, exploration. Paradise has been killed, and I'm looking for the murderer. Do oh boy. Welcome to Starlight. This island is a thousand little tragedies waiting to be discovered. I'm 
must be the bad guy, right? Man, that was released five days ago, I just noticed. God dang, bro! I've got all the time in the world for you. <laughs> I've got all the time in the world. <laughs> So we got some budget Scottish accents in this game. Yeah, you know what? We'll do... Actually, I need to ignore that. I need to remember that I need to ignore the games that I don't think I'm going to be interested in. Hmm. Mr. Prepper Prologue. What is this? Simulation Crafting Survival Single Player. No multiplayer in this one. I mean, this is actually free. Dang, dude, maybe I could, uh... Maybe I could try it out. I don't know. Is it just, like, the platformer style? It, it reminds me of, like, uh... Fallout... What was the one with the, the vaults? crap shelter fallout shelter like what do you you build like a shelter or something that's what it looks like yeah or maybe it's like a randomly generated type deal i don't know oh my god i forgot to ignore again come on give me a break give me a break all right view your cue Vas is this here we have combat mission shock force 2 I don't think I'm going to be interested in that. Yeah, you know, it already doesn't look interesting. I'm just like, I don't understand what's so great about games of modern time. <laughs> I feel like way back in the day or in the future is way more interesting. Among Us Mini Crewmate Bundle. Three bucks. I won't ignore it. We'll just, you know. I don't want it right now. Chronicon. Voss is this. Overwhelmingly positive. Oh, this one again? <laughs> Action RPG Open World Sandbox Indie. Raise my desk a little bit. So I can lean on it and not slouch. <laughs> my God. Yo, these things are so loud. The volume feels like it's not even adjusting it. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool and everything, but I don't know. I mean, it's even got vehicles. That's assuming you have to, like, get those, like, way late game. Like, that's how I would want it to be. Like, progression of technology as you go. Oh, my God. Cows on a conveyor belt? Oh, my God. And they're way above each other? All right. It already seems like a cartoony version of uh, Satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> With the conveyor belts, dude? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh man. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's better options for similar gameplay. I don't know. It's just another early access game that's it's not unique. I mean, it's got like 
Breath of the Wild graphics, you know. That's that's pretty cool. I like the art style and everything, but no. Okay. NBA 2K21. See ya. Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. That was like last year. Oh my god, early last year. I don't know. I don't think I'd be that interested in like air combat anymore. I used to be, but not as much anymore. Mostly negative. I don't think I've ever seen that on the Steam game. Hang on a second. Let's see. Madden NFL 21. What do these guys say? I'm kind of curious. Bro, this game is just the copy and paste from the last couple years with a bunch of bugs. <laughs> oh my god. Absolute shite. Do not buy. EA just released an update preventing Steam players from playing with Origin players, ruining me online franchise. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Back to the Discovery queue. Let's go. Casual action rhythm sports music. Just like Guitar Hero, basically. Yeah, I don't feel like that's unique enough. Like, there's a difference between Beat Saber and that, and that's Beat Saber's VR, and you know, you get, you actually get your body moving, and you have fun when you're doing it. But you know, I wish they didn't freaking take out the custom game or the custom songs on Beat Saber, because like now you have to pay for them. And all the ones I had were taken away. It's stupid. Like, what in the, why in the ball sack would you do that? It's like, imagine someone like makes a review on Beat Saber before you had to pay for the songs and they're like, you know, the game's amazing, dude. You can actually get like free custom songs off of this site called Beat Saber and then they make it where you have to pay for it and then they regret the review and have to change it and then <laughs> like, come on, dude. I bet they got so much good feedback on all that. Like being able to have custom songs, even though like I wouldn't be able to stream it though because DMCA stuff, but I mean I'm not big so who cares Oh god, why is my left shoulder freaking aching bro? So it's like a, a lower res sea of thieves <laughs> Where's the instrument that you can play, dude? Come on. There's no loot. You can't play an instrument in this? Alright. We'll just ignore that. I don't know. I've seen too many games like that lately. Yo, one game I am looking forward to, though, is Medieval Dynasty. <laughs> I bet this is going to be so chill. You're about to start an unforgettable. I'm hoping it's as good as it make it seem. You're young, inexperienced, in a foreign world full like of Like the adventure. hunting aspect and all that stuff makes it seem pretty cool. The fact that you can like customize where buildings are in a village and like paint the fence, so to speak. Will you be able to Yeah, it looks exactly like Sea of Thieves, dude. Dynasty. Like I'm thinking, what in the world? <laughs> In this world <laughs> full of danger, you are surviving on your own. Are they you got the weather, the you know, harshness? that's sick. You, you know, you have the animals that can hunt you. Are you, you have animals you can hunt. Are you brave there were like a few things that I was thinking would make this game look cooler. It would be like, you know, the animals leaving tracks so you don't have to like actually see them or hear them to know that they were nearby. Like, like an animal, like, Maybe if you see like a deer track or something, you can go like find it. Or maybe it leaves a big pile of dump. 
Maybe you can see the big pile of dump. But I mean, I guess that'd be too in depth for something that's not a hunting game. I don't know. <laughs> to survive but yeah, man, the bears. Ages. It, and apparently they've got like quests. They've got, you know, side quests, skill trees, all that stuff too. So that would make it even better. Like, let's see. Beautiful and realistic open world 3D landscape with state of art graphics. Uh, full four seasons, day and night cycle with realistic weather conditions, which is pretty cool. Interactive environment tr with trees to fell, various fruit to plug, stones to collect, caves to explore, and many more. Y yeah, I never played Red Dead Redemption 2. I can't remember. Like I, I, The first one I played a long time ago, and I, I saw a little bit of Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay, but I haven't like seen the whole story. But uh, I don't remember if uh, if you can see tracks in the original one. But I think maybe Red Dead Redemption 2, yeah. Like, that's pretty cool. I like when they add, like, small features like that that really add to the immersion of the game. Like, stuff like that makes me really like a chill, crafting, simulation type deal game. And it's also me medieval times. So, like, it's more interesting than modern times, like I was saying earlier. Like, I'm also more interested in, like, the past rather than the future. Unless the sci-fi game includes, like, you know, time travel. Where you could always, like, go from the future to the past or vice versa. <clears throat> so it's like, I don't know, man. Like, that's one aspect that I really like in games is time travel. Like, that's sick. <laughs> 18 different buildings with various levels from haystacks to full stone mansions. So that was another thing I read was like uh, 18 different buildings. That means like you have 18 different like pre-designed buildings you can lay out. But like I was hoping maybe they would make it where you could like draw the walls kind of like it showed them drawing the fence. I figure it wouldn't be that hard to add it to the game. But, like, draw the walls of the house and then just, like, paint a roof on it, like, however you would want to. That's the kind of customization that I would want. But also, like, there's Steam Workshop stuff, like, custom buildings that other people can make that you could download as entities for your game. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. 60 pieces of equipment to, a cra to craft, including weapons, tools, furniture, and clothing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I'm hoping about the, uh, the caves. Like, if you could find, like, iron and, you know, if you could smelt that with certain minerals like coal and stuff and, like, make realistic ingots and then, like, an animation that shows you, like, forging it into a new tool. That'd be pretty cool. I'm probably, like, <laughs> I'm probably asking too much, but that'd be freaking cool, dude. All right, let's see. Yeah, the realistic wildlife interaction with plenty of different animals such as wolves, wild boars, deers, rabbits, and others. One other thing I was thinking was like, can you make rabbit snares and like leave a rabbit snare in the forest and then come back two hours later and it's still there and hasn't despawned like the usual game would cause. <laughs> and then like you'll see a rabbit in it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, and you also have to worry about food, water, health, endurance, all that stuff. And I'm I'm hoping like they make it where like cold weather means that you have to bundle up. So like if you kill a bear and then grab the pelt, you could make like thicker clothing or something with it. That'd be sick. Detailed skill tree for individual character development, unique events, decisions with direct impact on gameplay, dynasty reputation systems, triggering events with the king. Quests, trade, economy, sandbox option, and social connections to NPCs, and many more. Yeah, that's cool. I think that the game is going to be pretty awesome, but it might go stale like some games do. But, like, I've been playing Raft for a little bit, and I haven't gotten tired of that yet. <laughs> and there's literally only, like, three or four quest locations. All right, blazing sails. Ignored. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Necromunda, I think I've seen already. Yeah, let me just ignore that. I don't think I'm going to be interested in that. Let's see, swords and magic and stuff. That's, you know, super descriptive. I think uh, 
Everything's said in the title. <laughs> Online co-op. I do like the art style. I mean, it's pretty cool. Pretty simple. Minimalistic. So hang on a second. Is that just like... Is that like a randomly generated island? Or is that like an island on the map? Yeah, yeah, it's so cool, because, like, that's also more immersive. Like, if you freaking, if, if you go leave a, a snare for a rabbit to go get caught in, and you check back two hours and there's no rabbit in there, then you know there's no rabbits in that area, so maybe you should try a different spot. <laughs> it, it can give you intel and, like, future ideas on, like, where to place your traps, you know? That's stuff that I think about when I'm playing games like that. Like, I want it to be realistic and... Uh, really immersive, but also the VR support I thought would be pretty cool for that game. Like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that would be freaking sick. <laughs> Woo, man, you almost didn't jump far enough right there, dude. You would have plunged to your death, dog. Mmm. I don't know why I haven't full screened it. I'm such an idiot. I haven't been full screening any of these. <laughs> cool. I guess it's like a uh, a higher poly Minecraft. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, there's no magic in Minecraft, but you know. Is there? No. There's there's no magic in Minecraft. Unless you count, I mean, like, fantasy monsters like the dragon and the zombies and stuff. But, like, you can't cast fireballs. At least I don't think you can. I mean, you can enchant your swords and bows to have fire, but that's about it. Huh. Dang. That's actually something to think about. I, I'm surprised that Minecraft never had, like, magic attacks implemented. Because, I mean, it seems like it would have everything else. From the beginning, I've seen now. some gameplay on this. And only now I never played the original. The mistakes we have made. And this released recently. I mean, from the trailer, it looks cool. But I don't know if the graphics in-game were as good as the cinematics of the trailer. So I mean, like, you know. Dang, she's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we should have foreseen that <laughs> yeah. might be born on this rising <laughs> tide. What force might Imagine we're just in the freaking boardroom. <laughs> like, what should we name the game? Uh Swords and Magic and stuff? Bro, that's a good idea. Let's do it. <laughs> They just took the first suggestion. <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is, I mean, no one else has taken the game name before because no one wanted to have such a lame name, but it worked, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the, the, the graphics don't look as good. They look like they're going for realism, but they don't look good enough for me to want to play a game with almost realism looking graphics i don't know <laughs> it looks like the graphics are outdated it's kind of like uh r reminds me of like wow graphics i guess maybe maybe even a little bit better than wow but you know that's not even saying much all right okay we get it i i have among us i don't want any of the bonus stuff <laughs> cloud gardens what is this Nature Sandbox Experimental Atmospheric. What are we looking for here? <laughs> Garden.
starting gnomes? What? <laughs> what, do you just build towers in this? Or is this like the beanstalk to the cloud garden? No? Okay, never mind. I mean, I look like he was just building vertically right there. Like you have to climb up the vine to get to the garden. You know, I I think this is a similar concept to uh, Flowscape, but I love Flowscape. Flowscape is one of those things where you can freaking just like design a battle map for D and D or something. It's so cool. I saw this and I was like, bro, I have to get that. <laughs> Like, look at that. You literally paint grass on, you paint trees where you want them, you put a house down. It's insane, dude. Controls are a little hard to get used to because I'm, I'm used to all of the other programs. So I haven't like practiced it or anything, but like, bro, like you literally just switch to an object, paint it on, switch to another object, paint that on. And like, bam. And I'm sure this thing has Steam Workshop stuff too. So like, if there are D&D &D players or DMs that know how to design like high poly monsters and stuff, maybe they put like D&D &D monsters in the Steam Workshop so, so you can download and put it into the game. I don't know. But like, it's got a dragon in the picture right here. So I'm, I, I'd hope there's a dragon in there that you could put in there. But like, even without the wildlife, I thought it looked insane. Like, it looked so good. Because literally, all you have to do is just, like, paint. And then you can do, like, a top view with a grid for the D&D &D five-foot squares. And then, bam, you're set. <laughs> just, like, put, like, tokens over it on uh, an OBS plugin or something. That's cool, though. Cloud Gardens, though? I don't know. I mean... Uh, uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like it has the right kind of aspect for me. But I guess it is like minimalistic garden stuff. People might like it. It's, it's only five bucks, you know. It, it seems like it might be good. But it's not my style. Stride. What is this? Mirror's Edge. What? All right, it's got Assassin's Creed sounds with Mirror's Edge physics. Like, sorry, dude. I saw this back in the early 2000s. Maybe someone who, like, really loved Mirror's Edge would like it, you know? I don't know. <laughs> but not for me. <laughs> All right, let's start another one. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> Tear down. Destruction, voxel. Physics, sandbox heist. What in the world, dude? What? What? Why are you trying to destroy stuff and make fires if you're gonna put the fire out, dude? What? Are you serious? Like, oh, I didn't mean to start a fire right there. Let me just put that out and start it in the correct spot. <laughs> okay. I thought this game was all about destroying. Hmm. I guess if it's about heists, maybe if you, uh, yeah. Straight up stress relief. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, yeah, that is one way to relieve stress, I guess. Just, nope, not for me. <laughs> I relieve stress by chilling, not destroying stuff.
I'm already turned off by this one. I've seen way too many games that are like Terraria over the head style like this. Yeah. SCP The Foundation. Free to play? What is the difference between this and Secret Laboratories? Or Laboratory. Like, I have this one. They're both free. Why does this one say free and this one says free to play? Like, why not just have the same term? Are they, like, devved by different people? Yeah, Danstar13 and then Northwood Studios. Already, SCP Secret Lab already seems a little bit more promising because it looks like it's a group of people instead of one person devving it. <laughs> okay. I guess I should watch the video just to see. Let's see. I mean, the graphics already look like complete, utter doo-doo. But I mean, SCP Secret Lab is kind of the same thing. Hmm. I hear that music kicking in. Let's go. Alright, so far it's shown a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> when was this released? Let's see when this one was. September 2nd, 2020? What? Let's read some of the reviews after we pause this. Let me start my music real quick. There we go. Alright, uh. This game is pretty bad. I won't focus in the ugly graphics and jump straight to the gameplay. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, that's that's a lot of a review. <laughs> if you played SCP games before, you can probably guess you have to get key cards to get out of a facility, but oh boy. Yeah, I guess uh, it's definitely not as good as the other one. Endless Space 2. Dust. Imagine a power that can burn stars, raise mountains, even. You've caught my interest. All right. Let's see. As with all powers, dust has been corrupted, misused, and twisted. But if I told you I found a way to start over, to restore its perfection, to cleanse our sins, the only cost would be to reset, to erase the billions of corrupted souls in the galaxy. Oh no! Will you follow me? I'll follow you to the depths, mate. Hey, deserter. So you deuces. Oh, snap. All right, so I guess you start out under the command of someone you desert their place you make your own troop and then you go destroy them because you don't believe in their uh, their system that's cool all right in this space too that's nice 
I mean, that looks pretty cool. What is 4X? What does that mean? It's by Sega? Wow. Hmm. It was released three years ago. And it's 40 bucks. Dang, dude. I wonder if there's a story to it or if it's just multiplayer. Multiplayer online people. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, it does have single player as one of the things, but who knows? I won't ignore it, but I'm not going to get it. <laughs> not yet. Vas is das. Hey, look, it's Reinhardt. He's been cloned. It's a 2D Overwatch. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Lorenzo? Yo, dog. Wait. This game looks too good to be played, so that means I shouldn't play it. Alright, gotcha. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, Rambo, are you talking about the, the last one we looked at? Uh, Endless Space 2? Wait, they did have some other ones. Let's see the gameplay. So this is all cinematic? Did you look through those and you only saw cinematic cinematics? Is that what you're saying? What is English? First look. Your next decision and social efficiency. More cinematic, yeah have been made beyond science that have what in the Peggy world seven. dude that's one thing i hate wait what Do they just have the credits oh oh cool dude <laughs> Let's see, this one, not so much. Jackbox Party Pack 7, let's go! 27 bucks, dude? Fall 2020? Yo, they better have some good games in that, though. Like, I'll add it to my wish list. I'll keep my eye on it. All right, I've seen streamers playing this in the past couple days. The funny thing is, though, like it released last year, <laughs> a little over a year, a little under a year ago, and uh, it's just now gaining traction. Like, I, I think it's funny because like the big streamers, one will play it, and then like other big streamers will see that big streamer play it and then start playing it. It's funny, <laughs> and then. All the attention that the game gets, it's probably like being played by a bunch of the viewers, too. <laughs> it didn't seem like my kind of game, though. But one thing that was hilarious were the fart noises and stuff. That, yeah, that's top-notch quality. That's, uh, that's something that I would really want to play. <laughs> I've never seen... Any gameplay on my summer car, nor have I ever played it, so. I guess I should have said those two things, like, in the opposite direction. No. Yeah, I don't know about this one.
it's free, but it doesn't seem like my style. Dragon Age 2. We know this is a good game already. You know, it's it's amazing. But I've already played it. Am I ever going to buy it again and play it again? I don't know. I won't ignore it. Yeah, the long drive, you know. <laughs> I, th I think the simulation aspect of it is pretty realistic. Because, like, when you're on, like, a four-hour car ride and you don't have any rest areas and you got bad gas, dude. Woo! My God. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Looks pretty basic. Mostly positive. Early access colony simulator, base building and survival. <laughs> Cute widow animation. <laughs> All right. Art style is pretty cool on that. It's only six bucks. Yo, I mean. Multiplayer, survival game, set on a forgotten planet. You can base build, survive. I mean, it sounds pretty cool. But it's another one of those overhead ones. I mean, I like the animations and the art style, though. It seems like uh, not a better version of Don't Starve, but... A, a different art style but it seems like it would be like similar gameplay because you know you got monsters to fight and then you need to make a civilization with your friends yeah I won't uh, I won't ignore it let's finish this queue next queue what do we have here tell me why boss is this I just got hit with a flood of memories. Love you, Mom. You seen what I'm seeing? Mom? Oh. Allison? Yeah. Don't nod. It doesn't matter that they don't believe us. We all believe that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter. That they kept us apart. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. It doesn't matter that finding the truth. I mean, you can tell it was made by Don't Nod. Feels <laughs> impossible. Art style, uh, the feel of the game. Well done with fairy tales. The only. The acting, matters. similar to Life is Strange. If you're my brother. Do -do 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 -do. And the only way to move forward Mom. is to keep looking back. We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really Ooh. emotional. Oh no. What's happening? Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. She loved you. She attacked you. We both saw it. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives.
Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I can't do this. Interesting. Oh, it's in, and it's a chapter game. Whoops. Yeah, like, I really do appreciate good graphics, and I feel like this isn't, like, the best graphics because it's Don't Nod. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe I will. I'm not going to ignore it. All right. More Among Us stuff? Bro. No. <laughs> Not now. Leave me alone. Please. I've heard it's of official. scum. What You're is this? Moron. I said left, you go right. And now because of your idiocy, I have to fix this bloody tire. Well, what? It's been out for a while and I wasn't interested back then, but... Because of your shortcut, I swear to God why I partnered up with such a limited person is beyond me. As cheaters, wall hacks, aimbots. Nah, bruh. Nah. Yo, did you see Moon Moon's high score? <laughs> it was pretty sick, right? <laughs> so what is this like? Uh, another Lorenzo style game that he would want me to play? Hello there, surgery table. Oh, he did. Yo, three bladed ceiling fan? Top notch, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Must be a nightmare. Oh, it is a nightmare. Hell is going on. Hey, man, for an unfinished game, it's got very positive reviews. It's looking good, dude. That's what I'm talking about. It's going somewhere. But I don't know that I would want to play it. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't find joy in playing horror games. I don't know. I guess you're not supposed to find joy, but I guess it's more about the viewers enjoying your torment. Is that what it's about? Because, I mean, you guys matter more than me. But would you say on what would you say on a scale of one to ten, how amazing it was to watch me play uh, that visage game? My reactions were probably subpar. I didn't react too much. I was always sarcastic about being scared. <laughs> I, I don't usually get scared. You were immersed. What? <laughs> Alt F4 at an hour and a half and then I freaking just refund <laughs> oh, man freaking love it dude love it <laughs> okay you begin in an office as so many horror games seem to Playing as a man working in some sort of vague facility. Soon you're opening drawers, throwing objects off the desk, finding keys and all that fun stuff you've liked doing in every horror game. <laughs> okay. Yo, this dude has a lot to complain about. A lot. <laughs> this must be his uh, video review. What's his playtime on it? Does it say? One hour on record?
All right, let me add that to the wish list. JK, ignore. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Yo, I'll tell you what though, man, these graphics kind of remind me of like a month uncleaned toilet, like right before you clean it. Like, I don't know, dude. It's just, no. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these sound like the same freaking narrator, dude. It's like this one guy just gets hired for every task because he's probably like the lowest priced narrator on Fiverr. <laughs> it's just like, oh, look at this dude. He's got like five bucks per day. <laughs> Okay, another cool looking art style. Oh, it's like the uh, the group fighting type. Kind of like early Final Fantasies. A game of woodland might and right. Alright, alright. Uh... Board game, PvP. I wonder if that would be more fun than, uh. Crap, what was the name of that game? It's nowhere in the more like this. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me? Dang it. Alright, well, screw it. Uh, it, it looks like it might be cool. I'll try it out eventually. Oh God, Bleach. I mean, I love Bleach, but I don't know. It's over. I don't think I could enjoy any more Bleach because it's, it's, oh, it's over. It's almost like uh, the Naruto games that keep getting released. Even after Naruto's over, it's all about Boruto now. So what is this like? Satisfactory 0.5? Are you... <laughs> what? <laughs> But, oh, okay. All right. Are, are you serious? You're going to screenshot your store page and try and debate people into thinking that they, uh, they wish list and followed. So ya. Hey, look, the only one I checked is the one you didn't have checked. See ya. Check out the new gameplay footage from Tony Stewart's all American racing, all American racing. Cancona. Oh my god. <laughs> Three unique vehicles. Whoa. What a selection. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'll tell you what though, man. Left turns are underrated though. Like, everyone knocks them, but oh wait, I am too. They're actually not that entertaining. Yo, that character looks familiar. Who does that look like? Is this like a... Is this literally copying a Pokemon game? Like... Or is this like its own... I mean, it's, it's actually copying Pokemon. Like, there's no way, right? Are you serious? Coming August 28th, a game you've already seen 20 some times, but in a new form and plagiarized. <laughs> All right. See ya. All right, what's in the next queue? Let's go. Wizard 101. Graphics look like a no-go. This is like Banjo-Kazooie graphics. Are you kidding me? All right, maybe a little bit better than Banjo-Kazooie, but I don't know. It does say it's a card game, though. <laughs> Noxamon, dude. <laughs> Yo, I was thinking about getting like one of those uh like not perpetual motion devices, but one of the ones you just like leave for hours and it keeps going like like an orrery that just like sits on my desk right here in the camera view. I don't know. I was thinking about something like that and just like have my drink on this side instead so I could have like an extra thing sitting here. I don't know. I thought it would be pretty cool. That orrery right there just reminded me of it. But uh Back to more important matters. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these games have just like straight donkey doo doo graphics. <laughs> yeah a tree with a face yeah that really makes me want to buy the game <laughs> how's it going Poe welcome Yo, this literally does also remind me of Banjo-Kazooie graphics at some points, though. Whoa, bullseye. A+. Plus. Yo, you know the end game chat of this wouldn't be like that. People would be like, noob, 1v1 me, give me a duel. Like, <laughs> they're leaving that one out. Ooh, man. We've got squid bosses and spider bosses, mate. <laughs> player versus player action developed in a 1990s engine
God dang, what in the world, bro? <laughs> Wizard 101. Very positive. I mean, you know, some people don't really care about graphics that much. I mean, yeah, maybe they like that retro style. I don't know. Oh, very positive and mostly positive, but the first two reviews I see are not recommended. I genuinely feel as though this is a great game. I have a ton of nostalgia with it from my childhood. Keywords. Old game, old engine, looks like trash, and so do my friends. I still feel as though the gameplay is great and still holds up, but I have one huge problem that ruins the entire game. The crown shop is completely pay to win with its card packs and pay, ar pay for armor. It's sad that I can no longer enjoy one of my favorite games. Okay, so it was, oh, it was released really, it's a long time ago, 2008, dude. I don't know why, but I only looked at the first two, and it was like, I thought it was seven days ago. I didn't even look at the year. <laughs> I'm just assuming that in my freaking queues, it's only doing like recently released or soon to be released games. <laughs> Whoops. But it is free to play. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't have those, uh, those very positive and mostly positive reviews. There we go. <laughs> All right, we got Viking type stuff, looks like, maybe? I like the long ships. The cinematics look nice. What about the gameplay, though? Like, guys, you gotta stop making the cinematic player look better than the gameplay. You need to just, like, do cinematics with the game graphics, okay? <laughs> Show us what it looks like. These walls can't fall. They're already lying to you. In the trailer. Pretty sure those walls can fall, dude. Pretty sure. I mean, it looked pretty cool, but I doubt the graphics were that good. Nope. I saw some gameplay on this one. It looked pretty cool because the Borderlands aspect, but... This game is a roguelite first-person shooter. But I don't know. Destiny 2. Hydroneer? What is this? Oh snap, they got fishing in it. Already a plus. <laughs> cool, cool. You can mine. It's cool how it's like, you can mine, but it's not cubes. Huh. I wonder if it's procedurally generated. I love games that have randomly generated maps. I mean, I guess I should have looked right here. It literally says mining right there. But you do have to dig for pipes. But I bet that's the only reason you can mine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
dig deep. Dig for gold. Hydropower. Create cave networks. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Next. What have we here? Ghost Runner. <clears throat> Hasn't been released yet. Cool. So like a cyberpunk Sekiro? Well, not quite like Sekiro, I guess. <laughs> oh god. There we go. All right. Uh, next in queue. I mean, you know, it doesn't look too bad. End zone. Fellow survivors. Another city Time builder survival spot. simulation. We're back again Strategy. To some new stuff. Wait, we did see like Our was that end zone two or something that we saw earlier? Or am I wrong? In zone. Oh, endless space too. Yep, that was it. Alright, what is this then? New ideas what do we see? <clears throat> so let's take a look at the newest additions to our already huge assortment. The kitchen dun, allows dun, us to dun, upgrade dun, regular dun, food dun, into dun. processed food with higher nutrition values and can therefore feed even more hungry mouths. With the reworked confidence system available, we also added new heat maps. First of all, we created a heat map for electricity, which gives you a much better overview of all buildings connected to the electrical grid. This heat map shows the actual attractiveness of your settlement. The attractiveness of your settlers' homesteads has a direct impact on their confidence. Oh. It can be both positive and negative. For example, if you build a residential building next to a charcoal kiln, <laughs> the wouldn't be too happy about Oh, boy. And yes, we heard your voices again and added Are we getting black lung? items, which also increased the attractiveness in their vicinity, especially the scrap totem. It's everyone's favorite. We affectionately call it Bum. So, I guess that's a wrap for now. See you soon. I love uh, the art style. It, it looks pretty cool. Because it's like post-apocalyptic. I like it. Hmm. Let me add that to the wish list. I'll check that out later on. There is no game. Wrong dimension. I already saw gameplay on this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But it was a great game. <laughs> uh, don't kill yourself over this. I didn't even know Apex Legends was on Steam. Oh, it's not released on Steam yet. See ya. Train Sim World 2. I guess I can, uh, I'll go ahead and get, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey booting up. <laughs> my bad, my brain just shorted. <laughs> All right, let's go back. All right, let's see what this is. Like, what is there to customize about trains? Or can you, like, customize the train station, too? Like, literally, all you do is hit the gas, hit the brakes, and then... I guess 
switch the tracks. Okay, you know, I, I guess it could be more in depth like that, like Flight Simulator. <laughs> The evolution of train simulation. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd be interested in that. All right, let's see. Samurai Jack. Got to get back. Time has lost its effect on me. Still, my sword is as sharp as ever. Why is the game starting on my right monitor? My god, dude. Are you kidding me? Come on, game. Go to the right monitor. Or the correct monitor. <laughs> Whoops. Oh boy. Let's get it over on the left somehow. Come on, dude. Come on. Load the menu. So I can switch it over and see chat. I have to see chat. Graphics. Wait, display. Um, other monitor. Saved. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I guess I don't want to full screen it. Yeah, that would hurt. But I do need to turn the music off for now. Alright, the menu is going to make a little bit of noise, but that's fine. Alright, here we go. Back to this. I think I saw a little bit of gameplay on this. I think Lyric played this a while back. It's not over yet, Samurai. I have nothing to fear. The future is mine. All things come to an end. August 21st. Yeah, I mean it looks pretty cool. Why are they calling it a platformer? What? You literally like go through maps and defeat bosses. Like, what? Is that what a platformer is? Maybe I've just, uh, I don't know, I've been misinformed my whole life what a platformer is. <laughs> Yeah, we're about to hit that two hour mark, so uh, six more minutes and we'll hop on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I mean, this thing's overwhelmingly positive. <laughs> One of those minimalistic games that people absolutely love. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> what is this like a, a 2D overhead view of something kind of like satisfactory? Because I mean, it's got color conveyor belts and like they're all making their own different colors and then you can mix them into rainbow looking stuff. 
Yo, that's like... That's deep. Dang, dude. Huh. Coming to Steam. June 7th. Okay, so it's out. Four bucks. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would want to play that. Who has this? Oh, back to basics. Alright. Steamworks. Build and rescue. Or Stormworks. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Yo, what is up with the bad graphics, dude? What year was this? God, it looks absolutely amazing, JK. Poundscaper. Okay, you can rotate the camera. That's cool. So you can build like a, a little floating town. Good God. What in the world? <laughs> the sound effects are crazy. <laughs> I like how the grid is irregular. That's cool. <laughs> wow. That's cool. What is there more to it? Like... Do you have to manage stuff? Or do you just literally paint the town? Is it actually Lorenzo? Yeah, that that looks like it would be pretty cool for uh for designing maps. Maps for D&D. &D. Because, like, you could, like, build a town. But I wonder if they have, like, more rustic buildings. Like, this looks like, I don't know, 1800 to 1900 architecture. Maybe, like, a little bit after. But that seems like the only bit of architecture they have. Like, I wonder if they're planning on adding, like, any science fiction or fantasy type looking buildings. That would look pretty cool. Because, like, you could literally design an entire city and your players will have, like, a view of what the town looks like. And, like, every time they walk to a building, you could explain, like, shop owner's name. You know, they they sell this item and all that stuff. I don't know. That, that seems like it'd be pretty cool. Hmm. I want that on the wish list. Yeah. That's another one of those things, like Flowscape. Have you seen Flowscape, Poe? So, like, Flowscape, I was saying earlier, uh, I bought this game a while back, but it's like, you can paint scenery. So, like, all right, let me just pause right there. So, like, that's, like, literally a battle map on D&D. &D. Like, you could say, all right, your, your players are here, here, and here. Oh, wait, they added the house. Hang on. No, no, no. You're, you're in the woods right here. <laughs> Your players are here, 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 and here, you know, and then there's like a monster right here. And, you know, <laughs> maybe he's sleeping. Who knows? You know, that, that'd be pretty cool. But, yeah, stuff like that. That's freaking amazing, dude. So now that I've found something that's closer to... Uh... Yo, the monster is not allowed to have the house, dude. <laughs> Why can't the monster have the house though? But yeah, that's pee cool. 
<laughs> oh my god. Yo, I don't know. Maybe it's a vampire. Who knows? All right, yeah, cool. Vampire lives in the house, and then, you know, they're approaching the house, and they have no idea what's in there. You know, you've got some nasty-looking mildew tiles on the outside of the house, and it looks old and run down, and there's vines growing up the side of it. Like, do you want to investigate? What do you want to do? Like, stuff like that. Yo, man, I want to be a DM so bad. That'd be so cool to world build. Hmm. Alright, though. I've got that on my wish list. It's two 